Denali is a little bit of a capricious mountain. The weather changes. It does that in the summer too. You can get big storms in the summer. You can get bad weather, strong winds. Um, it's a long route. It's got its challenges. But um, in the winter, it's just you and the mountain. There is absolutely nobody there. So we're going to be just us. There's no trail. You're pushing your snow. You're finding your way um, through the crevices. You're, you're you know, um, definitely on your own. And um, mainly it's the weather. It's very extreme out there. It's about as cold as it gets. It's a very long, slow process. Digging is the key to success on Makile because we don't take tents uh, on Makile in the winter. We live in snow caves which we dig. So it's really hard work because you go all day and uh, at the end of the day, you know, for us it's three and a half hours, four hours minimum to dig a cave. And we want to make sure that our caves are big enough that we can um, sit up in it, stretch. Uh, we make a little bench style thing and we sleep on top and then the cold air stays underneath. Last year we were stuck 12 days in our cave. It was very cold. Uh, we had minus 30, minus 35 easy in the trench without windshield, just real temperature. And it was uh, storming very powerfully outside, powerful enough that you could not go on top at all. For one, uh, when it's real storm, you're very busy digging for life. The storm is trying to bury you inside your cave and it's just throwing so much snow with so much power that it just closes your entrance really quickly. I personally have a big thing about the uh, power of the human spirit. So this is what really gets me going and I just love to just find out how far, you know, um, people can go when they're um, in front of adverse conditions and that's just a great great challenge just to realize that there is so much that you know people can take and also turn into something pleasurable you know i think it's a matter of calculated risks um, we've trained hard we've got you know the right gear uh, you just try to stay aware of your body yeah, just go there, be cautious, go slow, no, no rushing, you know, just uh, one step at a time. That's our plan. Hopefully it's going to work out. And um, either way, you know, some, sometimes you don't summit. What matters is that you just go and give it a good try. So that's what we're trying to do.